Welcome Taurus to your monthly horoscope for August for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also join me directly on Twitter and chat. I answer every question at Horoscope Ace or please join Elisa and I for our daily astrology and tarot video show. It's proven really popular, great fun. You can grab your free written daily horoscope for your sign every single day. Please see the link beneath this video. Finally, if you'd like to become one of our patrons, you can do so for one cent a day. Yes, just $3 a month, the price of a coffee. So come and have a coffee with us. We share extra information with our patrons and we treasure every single one. Now this month begins with the sun in the part of your situation to do with your home, family and emotions. But you also have Mercury, the planet of communication, in the third solar house where it's been for an extended period of time due to its retrograde in the sign of Cancer. Venus, your ruler, is in the part of your horoscope that's very much to do with money and also to do with your enjoyment of the good things in life. Now, as we come into this new month, we do have a full moon on the 3rd. And this is going to occur in the sign of Aquarius. Your feelings are going to be very close to the surface in the following two weeks. And also you may feel a bit changeable because this full moon embraces Uranus in your sign, the planet of unpredictability. If you do feel that your work-life balance is a little bit out of kilter, you may find yourself making a sudden change. This might be out of character, but actually it could be really cathartic for you if you do break free of something that's been holding you back, some kind of domestic chain, or perhaps it's a professional one. But I do feel that your emotions will be harder to disguise. So if there's something you're not feeling happy about, you're likely to ventilate that over the following two weeks. Now the fifth sees Mercury move into the sign of Leo. Now Mercury likes being here, it can be a bit more opinionated, but also it has a lot of pride and passion. So if there is something that you want to say to someone, particularly in your family, this may be the time that you choose to do so between then and the 18th of this month. But also in the first 10 days of this month, Mars, which is locked away in a very tender part of your scope, your 12th house, is forging a right angle with Mars, which is in a very tender part of your scope, is forging a right angle with Jupiter, the planet of exuberance. What does this mean? I think it's possible that if you are trying to change something in your world and there's something that's related to your past, there could be a moment of truth that comes up this month, but not necessarily in a particularly easy way. It's possible that the past event could confront your consciousness in quite a powerful and direct manner. Mars at the end of the day is about uh, more physical connections, so it's more forceful, and it's in your sector of the subconscious, whereas uh, Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn are all in the part of your situation to do with the higher truth and also to do with travel and expand in your situation. So if there is something painful that you've gone through that you've not quite come to terms with or perhaps the residual energy or even frustration, perhaps anger from an injustice that's affected you in the past, I think you're going to find your voice quite powerfully this month and speak out and other people will need to take note of what you have to say. Now the seventh sees Venus move out of that long extended journey which began on the 4th of April in the sign of Gemini. Can I ask you a personal question Taurus? Have you gained a few pounds during that time? It wouldn't be a surprise because of lockdown, some of us have been less active, haven't been able to go out as much, but also that's perhaps led us to be much more focused on those nibbles, those carbohydrates, or even taking a little bit of comfort in more calorific goodies. But now is a perfect opportunity for you to try to get a little bit more toned up. And Venus moving into the sign of Cancer 
can see you articulating your ideas. If you've been formulating any ideas that you want to share with people, either in a business or personal context, they can really start to flourish over the next couple of weeks. Now the 11th through to the 21st sees the Sun in the sign of Leo linked to Mars in your 12th solar house. If you do need to ventilate those deeply personal feelings that perhaps have lain dormant for a very long time, this is a wonderful platform to actually do so. This is going to be enhanced by the new moon of the 19th, which picks up on this energy of in Mars, uh, in Mars in Aries, and it's going to take you right into the middle of September. So I feel you can really say how you feel in a very genuine way, and people can be really touched by the sincerity, but also the depth of your emotion. And you may want to really challenge something within you or challenge someone else about how they've been and how you share this information can be very compelling to others. Now the 15th does see Uranus go into a retrograde in your sign. If you have been struggling a little bit with Uranus's change agenda, which began in the middle of May 2018 to the middle of November 2018, from March 2019, and now all of this year, this gives you food for thought. Uranus is about freedom, but it's also about, it's also about our uh, desire to speak our own personal truth. And it's quite a radical, shocking influence. So if you're someone who tends not to like to confront things directly, its retrograde could make you think very carefully about some things that you may need to assert for you to say exactly how you feel. On the other hand, if you have been embracing its energy and things have been quite restless or a lot has been in a state of flux, I think the retrograde gives you a chance to reconsider where you exactly lie in this process. Now from the 5th through to the 21st of this month, Mars is forging a very powerful right angle to Pluto. And one of the things that's very important with that uh, particular uh, influence is that although you may have a great amount of conviction, other people are still entitled to their convictions and their version of the story and the truth. So there may be a bit of a pushback if someone feels that you're just seeing it through your own subjective perspective as they see it. It's not that you're necessarily feeling that you're being subjective, it's just someone may feel that that is the case. But what's really going to help you this month, Taurus, is that on the uh, 20th, Mercury, the planet of communication, followed on the 22nd by the Sun, move into your fellow Earth sign of Virgo. This is going to make you feel much more in the moment, much more outgoing, much more playful. And of course, you often have a great sense of humour and that can start to shine out. But I must say that Mars does go through a very awkward connection with Saturn in the last two weeks of this month. Perhaps it's going to be about Covid some of the more difficult things that we're all going to have to deal with this month. But I think the energy, that clustering of energy in Capricorn, it does clash with Mars quite a lot. Mars is about the need to be a free spirit, to do as we want for ourselves. Because it's in the 12th house, maybe it's you who's being more of an observer of how other people have conducted themselves. And you may not be very impressed if people are flouting rules when it comes to safety and the overall welfare of person kind. And you may feel that you need to speak out. And if that's the case, good for you. Because Mercury forges a terrific angle with Jupiter and Pluto in the last week of this month. And that can see you speak with real conviction, authenticity, and people can be very impressed at the lead that you show. However, your ruler planet does get challenged by Pluto in the last four days of this month. And if there is someone that you fancy and you're chatting to them, I just wouldn't try too hard to begin with. Just let things flow and naturally take their own course. And that's much more likely to lead to a successful outcome for you. 
If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign, Taurus, and embrace more serious astrology, why not check out my uh, very uh, well-priced range of personal astrology reports. You can see the link for these beneath this video. You can get a forecast for a year at the character analysis and get 30% off. Or why not have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me? Please see the testimonials beneath this video. But for now, stay safe, take care, and good luck.